Finding a reliable wholesale supplier is a crucial step in starting a successful e-commerce business. In today's video, I put together a comprehensive package of China wholesale online website that will help you find great suppliers in China. First, let's talk about the three biggest online directories for China suppliers. They are Alibaba, Global Sources, and Made in China. There are some key differences between the three. First, Alibaba has many more supplier listings than Global Sources, Made in China, but it comes at the cost of quality. However, Alibaba has a wider range of service. It even has an online trade fair nowadays, and with the development of global business, there are more and more suppliers from other countries too. In my experience, there's a lot more noise on Alibaba, so you need to spend some time to learn how to protect your rights and benefits when you buy products from Alibaba. Made in China and Global Sources specializes in electronics, mobile, and home gift niches, which makes it the optimal choice for sourcing products in that area, and less on consumer products. In addition, I have found that the MOQs, or the price, for Made in China Global Sources vendors tend to be much higher than Alibaba as well. But bottom line, your mileage will vary depending on what you want to sell. Give all services a try and see where it takes you. Next, I'm going to talk about DHgate and AliExpress. Both DHgate and AliExpress are marketplaces of Chinese small wholesalers and retail, dropshippers, and the closest comparison I can think of in the U.S. is eBay. Basically, when you make a purchase through DHgate or AliExpress, they handle the transaction and the seller ships the item. Both DHgate and AliExpress offer a refund guarantee on all purchases. In terms of product sourcing, the prices that you will find on AliExpress and DHgate will tend to be higher than what you will find when sourcing direct from a manufacturer. But the main advantage is that the MOQ will be much lower, and even for the wholesale products, they will have enough stock too. In fact, you can often buy products in single unit quantity, which makes this marketplace ideal for testing out new markets before committing to a bulk purchase. And the next resource is 1688.com. It is a China wholesale supplier directory that is owned by Alibaba Group. In fact, 1688.com is almost exactly the same as Alibaba.com, except that 1688.com primarily caters to Chinese business. In fact, the entire website is in Chinese, and you have to use Google Translate or find someone who can read Chinese to help you find suppliers on their website. Now, why am I showing you a website that is completely in Chinese? The reason is because sometimes Chinese vendors have inherent biases towards Americans, Europeans, and other foreigners when they provide their price codes on Alibaba. In other words, sometimes identical vendors that you find on Alibaba and 1688.com will offer higher prices to foreign business. Here is what you can do to make sure that you are getting the lowest price. Whenever you are done negotiating on price for a vendor on Alibaba, you should also contact the same vendor via 1688.com with a different email address to see if the code is any different. If the prices are similar, then it's all good. But if the pricing is drastically different, then you should find out exactly why there is a discrepancy. Overall, you can use a site like 1688.com in conjunction with Alibaba to help you get the lowest price. 
Next website, lightinthebox.com. This is another China-based wholesale website that has amazing and diverse stock. Their website is very simple to go through. Some of the flash sales are always present for buyers. They ship to all places around the world. You will get good deals if you buy things in bulk. Shein is another website that you can use. The specialty of this website is that they provide services to sellers as well as individual people. They mainly cater to the woman fashion and accessories department. Their collection is all inspiring as it is right on the trend and they can make a trend. You will get amazing shoes, bags, clothes, and etc. If you want to open up a shop related to women's fashion, this will be a good site for you. Next, the gear best. Technology is the most important thing in the manufacturing market of China. So several websites are dedicated to making those electronics, gadgets, and other technologies available to the world. Gearbest has also done the same thing by opening an online wholesale market. Drones, mobile phone, and watches are called favorite items, but they didn't neglect their apparel and fashion sections at all. They do have all the needed sections and provide things at a great price. Apparel, beauty, bags, shoes, etc., are present on the website, and you can definitely buy from them. The other choice is Banggood. Banggood is an online Chinese wholesale website dealing with a variety of Chinese products at very competitive prices. Starting from electronics, they have expanded to other products, including clothing and apparel, home and garden, mobile phones and accessories, sports and outdoor, and etc. If you know Yiwu International Market, here are another two websites for your reference too. They have cheap price, but you need to pay more attention to the quality. These two websites are yiwugo.com and chinagoods.com. Chinagoods.com is the official website of Yiwu Market. China Goods Platform is developed and operated by Yiwu China Communist City serving 2 million small and micro enterprises in the upstream of the industrial chain with the resources of 75,000 physical shops in EU international trade market. Except this, there are some other more websites for your reference too. I won't go through the details of each of them, but you can take a look when you search for products, and they all have certain good products for you to look at. The last two resources I want to talk about here is the Canton Fair and Global Sources Trade Show. One of the best ways to find Chinese vendors is by attending the Canton Import and Export Fair. Although this is not online, but it's still good for you to get to know these resources. The Canton Fair is held in Guangzhou, China. Twice a year, usually during the end of May and the beginning of November, and it is one of the largest sourcing shows in the world. Similar to the Canton Fair, the Global Sources Trade Show is another gigantic fair where factory owners from all over the world congregate twice per year. What's nice about the Global Sources Trade Show is that it takes places just before the Canton Fair in Hong Kong, so you can easily hit both shows during the same trip. Global Sources contains a much larger contingent of suppliers in certain key categories, such as electronics and fashion accessories. So, if you plan on selling anything electronic, Global Sources is the best show to attend. The biggest benefit to Global Sources may be its trade show accessibility. First. It's in Hong Kong, meaning that most Western buyers won't even need a visa. Unlike the Canton Fair, which will require some kind of embassy engagement. A final note here before closing. Buyers who are interested in niche products, particularly industrial products, 
may consider finding niche trait shows. And these are just some common trait fairs here we gave you as an example. There is even a large annual fair in China devoted towards sourcing tries. Buyers should consider what their priorities are and make their sourcing decisions accordingly. So to conclude, how to choose a wholesale website to buy? These are the most noteworthy platforms for product sourcing in China. Different buyers will have different preferences, and hopefully, these distinctions can provide guidance to making that decision. But there's no reason to use all of the websites. Do product research online and know the features you want. Typically, you can select an appropriate website to you according to the following six aspects. And the next question, how to start to buy wholesale from China? The easiest way to buy goods from China is to first identify a supplier. Then you should purchase a sample and iterate with your supplier until you are happy with the overall design of your product. Finally, when it comes to buying in bulk, you should enlist the help of a freight forwarder to help you import your goods to your home country. Sourcing products online from a seller overseas can seem like an intimidating task. You can't get to know them face to face or test out the product in person. But there are ways to navigate these challenges. There are a few questions you should ask a seller before sourcing a product to ensure they are trustworthy and can meet your specific needs. The first question you want to ask is, can you provide a copy of your business license and any necessary certifications? When reaching out to sellers, it's your responsibility to make sure they are trustworthy. Asking for proof of their business and copies of any applicable certifications will help you narrow down the search. The second question is, what are the product details? You want to ask for as much information about the product as possible. Ask for details about the specifications, packaging, and materials used. See if they can send you some pictures of the product. Be specific about your questions so you don't miss anything. The third question you want to ask is, how much do samples cost? Sellers should have no problem with you requesting samples. It is a standard part of B2B sales. You will want to inspect one or two samples of the product before placing a larger order with the seller to ensure the quality. You should also ask what their pricing is for samples. The unit price might be higher than ordering in bulk because of shipping costs for such a small order. The next question is ask what is your minimum order quantity, the MOQ. The MOQ is the lowest number of items you can purchase at one time. Always ask the seller for their MOQ, even if it's listed on the product detail page. The MOQ is typically negotiable. If it is more than you can afford, see if they are willing to meet your price. Keep in mind that purchasing a larger order will likely lower the cost per item. The last question you want to ask is, what are the shipping terms? Agreeing to the wrong shipping terms or INCO terms regularly causes confusion. These acronyms significantly impact your shipping process and define who handles each part of the delivery and when the risk of damage transfers from the seller to the buyer. Do your research and agree upon the INCO terms that are best for you. If you receive vague answers to any of your questions, keep pressing. Don't take a chance. Either wait until you get the answers you need to make a decision or move on. Asking these questions will help you decide if the seller is someone you want to do business with and if they can make your product according to your exact specifications. And the last thing you need to know is 
How are customs duties calculated? The value of your shipment determines how much duty or taxes are assessed on your shipment. In general, duties and VAT are calculated as a percentage of the custom values of your goods. If there are any tariffs involved with your HS codes, they will be directly added on your duties. Okay, that's all we have for today. Hope the contents we have here can be helpful for you, and we will see you in our next video.